When I was looking at, at schools, it wasn't so much the school I was looking at as the teacher. Because I knew I wanted to go for uh, performance and I figured, you know, the environment can be whatever, but if I didn't like the teacher that I was with, there was no point in staying. So I had lessons with each of the teachers, or at least one of the teachers from each school that I went to. And all those teachers had this mentality of, I say you do. And when I got here, Rob said, no, I'm going to teach you how to think like a musician and then you're going to do it. The edge, but still that idea of propulsion into the next note. And you're going to know. And that appealed to me more than anything else. I've been able to get opportunities I never would have gotten at those schools. I was able to play with Symphoria a couple years ago. I get toured the last six months with a flautist from Symphoria. I can guarantee you I wouldn't have gotten opportunities like that at Eastman or Crane. The best way I can bounce it is just to stay on top of everything at all times. I, I will absolutely go to teachers and ask for help if I need to. And maybe it's part of what makes me a <laughs> half-decent pianist too, but I don't like falling behind on anything. That's always been my mentality. You know, my parents have always raised me with this idea of you do your best at all times. And as long as you're doing that, then you're doing the right thing. When you get to this... My goal here uh, is to sort of end up with a, a job like Rob has. I'd, I'd love to teach at a college. I'd love to teach, you know, on the side. I'd like to still perform. And it's kind of amazing to me that Rob's not only been my teacher, but my example and a, a, a real goal for me.